we made this chain mail, the world's biggest chain mail, to see if we could do it. And then we went and tested it. It was a pretty good gong show. Anyways, definitely not doing any of that stuff today, but we thought it'd be kind of fun to see if we could take some of these rings, we're gonna take it apart, not all of it, some of it, and try to make a more complicated weave. This thing is like uh, 1,600 pounds, and you can see the tractor could barely move this guy in, so it's a beast of a job to do. Looking forward to it. Let's go. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually taking the rivet off of these links. These are uh, riveted links. So the process for that is I take the torch and I actually cut the head off. It's actually called washing. And that is literally heating it up to its molten and using oxygen to blow it away. It's a really fun process. I love doing it. So once the head's gone, then I actually heat up what's left of the rivet inside. Once it's hot, hit the oxygen and you actually blow a hole right through the whole entire rivet. I can do that because it's half inch diameter. If it's smaller, then you have to drill it, but this way it's really fast. Once the hole's in there and it's pierced through, you let it cool off, and then you just take a punch and you drive it out. So now we've got to figure out how to get the rings apart. I guess I'm gonna get the rosebud and heat them up. When we put them together originally, we came straight from the forge, so we didn't have to use the torch to heat them up but we'll heat them up with the torch now, I guess, and then stick them in the forge for the next weave. Okay, so all the rings are a part that we need, about 40 of them or so. And so now we're gonna start putting them together. I'm gonna be doing, well, we are gonna be doing, Martin and I, the, we're gonna be attempting to do a box weave. And the reason I wanna try this is because it looks so cool. It's a three-dimensional type of weave compared to the four-in-one, which is what the big piece that we just took apart is. So the box weave is not like a, to protect yourself from, you know, giant arrows coming from air cannons or bowling balls or even cars, anything like that. It's just made to look really cool. So, it's a little bit complicated, so I'm not gonna try to explain it. I'm just gonna show you it as we start it up. So the system's really simple. We'll grab the rings, we'll get them in the forge, heat them up hot, then we bring them in, we weave them in, close them, put the rivet through. And we actually have uh, quite a few rivets left over from the last job, which was this one. So we don't have to make any of those, which is Super big plus. So let's get this thing going. Here we go. Stop, stop that. Stop looking at me like that. I'm not, everybody always says, everybody always says why? Cause it looks cool. It's a good enough of a reason, at least in my mind. Okay, I'm gonna get the forge going now. Okay, so this is where it starts to get complicated for us. And it just looks like a big pile of stuff. But what we have to do is we have to come through 
all four of these with one ring and then all four that way. And then that'll sort of start us off in this new pattern. It's a quite a bit of a trickier one. I've said that already, so I don't need to say that again. Anyways, we're gonna start the forge up and get those next two rings in. So it's going okay. We've still got quite a ways to go to smooth everything out on process and stuff, but the pattern is forming up. What we're finding is we actually have to hang it to kind of get it all to work. So we're gonna try to actually set up to be able to do the rivet right here. So I'm just gonna get a support from the back. It's just over here. Uh, Martin, can you just help me get this? Oh. 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 Oh, it's so heavy. Oh. 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 Thanks, Martin. Oh. So it's a new day and uh, yesterday we set up this anvil to do the riveting here and found out it just doesn't work, it's just too hard. So we're finding out the best place to do this is right there on the ground. So now that we're getting more comfortable with how this weaving pattern goes, we're actually gonna leave it on the ground now and just continue to build it out. We don't need to see 
the full pattern to know that we're right, which at the beginning we weren't confident on that. So I'll show you how this works a little bit. So these two rings are the ones that I just closed up. We just riveted them up. And so how it works is we put these on hot, we put these are closed, we put them in, lasso it. And then how the pattern works is you actually take these two, you flip them back, and I have to open this up. It's a little bit tricky because it's hot. And then you grab the crowbar and you pull them through like that. And then that's the pattern, it's sort of this inverted ring system. We're gonna come in with two more hot ones and then have two more closed ones on it, close those up and then we'll invert them and then that's the pattern and it keeps going. It looks like a big mess right now, but when it hangs, it'll all look right. All right, this thing's done. So we're gonna hang it up and see how it looks. Guess we gotta get this out of the way. gonna need a little bit of tweaking here. That looks so cool though. It's pretty good. That's the little bit of a, a difference with this type of uh, pattern compared to the chain mail before the four in one, is this is like really decorative so it doesn't hang quite as true. I guess I was also thinking that it would be cool if all the riveted joints were tucked to the inside here. Feels like this is a really good way to get your fingers pinched off. This pattern is typically used for like bracelets and necklaces and stuff. So that's what we're going to use it for, you know. Got my little hammer here to tweak it up. Everybody's like, yeah, that's cool, Tim, but why? Why did you make this? I'm making great content for you. Come on, this is cool. I'm just gonna look at it for a second here. I actually am surprised, like it almost feels like the rings are a little bit too big for this pattern. Feels like it could almost be a little bit tighter, you know? I think it looks best too when it has the most weight on it. This section here, this first section looks the best compared to the bottom. So I'm just gonna uh, wrap this around my arm now as a bracelet, or maybe I'll do my neck. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then I've got a, a functional piece of art, you know? I think that's important for people to know that we don't just make things to look nice around here, but everything has a purpose and a function, you know? All right, there you go. Good little challenge for us. Hope you enjoyed it, I know we did. This is the last video of 2020, that's crazy. What a year it's been too, I can't believe it. Ah, oh, you know, I'm kind of happy and kind of sad. Excited about next year to see the projects that will dream up and build. I really appreciate every one of you coming along and watching and we will look forward to seeing you in the next video which actually isn't going to be next week because it's the Christmas holidays. We're taking it off and next video upload is coming January 1st and so we'll look forward to seeing you then. Until then, have a great one. Mm -hmm.